close and personal with Wheezy and the Swish, creators of one of the funniest podcasts online. And they're right here in the studio. So if it's happening here in L.A., it's happening right here on Your L.A. You're watching Your L.A. Welcome back. Podcasting is not just for the boys anymore. Our next guests are the creators of the podcast called Wheezy and the Swish. Here's a look behind the scenes. Big D is here as well. We're waiting for Laura Swisher, who, who's just gotten back from China. Well, I don't know that I want to guess as to her lateness. She's already sent several emails with, um... Oh, and there's a picture of her. Let's see if we can do this. These are emails from Laura. But this is kind of a like a absurd adventure because someone's on the internet watching this video watching me surf the internet to find a picture of Laura in front of Tiananmen, Tiananmen Square. Square this is right before she got ran over by a tank <laughs> oh I know that's not funny I didn't say it because I thought it was funny hey Laura guess what we did while we waited for you we went and stalked Paul Abdul oh did you? yeah did you see him? name that hand fart tune ballads <laughs> okay okay riveting stuff <laughs> louise and laura thank you so much for being here thanks who for having us <laughs> who would listen to this why are we on <laughs> name that bird hello <laughs> i mean that is just good radio right there or a <laughs> podcast whatever you know what i absolutely agree now you are aka wheezy and the swish how did you meet and why did you decide to podcast together we met at the laugh factory Mm -hmm. You were Isn't Wheezy. I remember it just like it was yesterday. Oh um, Wheezy was wearing the same outfit, and she'll probably wear the same outfit for years to come. Um, no, she was. You were a host of the Laugh Factory, and I was working there, and uh, and that's how we met. We're both stand-up comics, and so uh, we have a friendship that goes back like five or six years, and uh, we've taught comedy together, and now we're podcasting together. We teach kids. Right. We teach kids stand-up comedy. We wouldn't <laughs> even attempt to teach adults. They're, too, they're very scary people. Yeah. Now, why a podcast? What is it about a podcast that does whatever it is you want it to do? Well, um, because there doesn't seem to be any positions opening for weather at the NBC. <laughs> We're like, maybe we should try this podcasting thing out. <laughs> you get to talk, and people don't stop you. There's no commercial breaks. There's no sponsors. There's no. You just get to talk, and we talk anyway, so we might as well be in front of microphones. Yeah, and, and you, you guys have producers that say you need to hit this cue, you need to hit that. We got to cut to this, cut to that. With podcasting, it's just like everything makes it. We so you look just at talk. each other eventually, yeah. and we go, okay. Are we done with this topic? We really need to be done. <laughs> yeah. We need to move this thing along, and we just kind of do this to each other. So nothing goes on the cutting room floor. Everything is in. Every once in a while, we'll, we'll say someone's, like, street address or something, <laughs> or hope phone number has happened to me, like my cell phone number. And so then we'll fix that in post. Prison so like, records, hey, those types of things, we will bleep those out, yes. Yeah. Okay, so your show is once a week, right? Right. Exactly. And it's 90 minutes long. Right, but the beauty of podcasting is they all live on the internet forever. So you could conceivably, since we've done 66 episodes, you could sit down one evening. No, we're stretching to start this several finish. days. Right. Absolutely. They're all there. All you have to do is, like, you know, Google your favorite guest's name, or just there's a whole scroll bar that you can scroll through, and 1 through 67, they're all there. Okay, so my favorite guest so far, obviously, is the man who can make music with the little hand farts. But you've had some very good guests on your you show, right? You love more than Fritz? <laughs> no, you, know, <laughs> you had Fritz on. Fritz was on, exactly. He was the best guest ever. Absolutely, and what did you talk to Fritz about? What did we talk to Fritz about? We talked to him about his play. His play. Yeah, he's got a new one coming out, but we were talking about his, his, his last comedy one. comedy and yep. how he got his start and, and all of that. Well, he's always funny. And sexiest news ladies or weather ladies. It may have come up. Yeah. It may have come up. Yeah. <laughs> so basically you guys get together and you do it in your home, I understand, right? Right. Yeah. So we've turned one of my bedrooms into a home studio. We use Pro Tools and we use... Basically, our, our, our most important tool is two men who know a lot about technology. Okay. And I recommend that for any women that any, I'm, I don't mean to sound, you know, like a girl, but I, I am. I am. And so we can talk. We know how to do that. But it helps to have people that are very technologically savvy because that makes it so much easier. And you provide the snarky, intelligent women's perspective as two powerful broadcasting, right. podcasting 
women. Bro if you put it that way, yes. <laughs> when you said broadcasting, I was like, wait a second, that's Broad offensive. Like, broadcasting. <laughs> and then, then I, oh, that's, okay, that's not. Louise and yeah. Laura, a.k.a. Wheezy and the Swish, thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate it. Oh, thanks, thanks for, for having, having us. Thanks for having us.